Hi, I'm Karen Mulvaney and this cracker behind me is 23 Sea Park Drive in Clontarf. We're on market for 675. This is a three bed terraced house with an attic converted and there's a rear single storey extension to the back. We also have a garage which also has rear access out onto a very private lane which is locked from this end here. So just to give you an idea of where we are before we show you this gorgeous house, if you head down that direction you can see down Sea Park Drive gorgeous road, really nice community here and at the bottom of the road here you have Kinara and the wooden bridge so you are literally two three minute walk from uh, the seafront there. Heading up this direction you're heading up towards uh, Sea Park Road and turn right and you're literally on Seafield Road, <laughs> Seafield Road East, uh, literally just turn right and you're on Seafield Road. So. The location is incredible. Clontarf Village at the bottom of Vernon Avenue is literally just there. You just walk straight through that direction there. Uh, St. Anne's Park is just up the road. We have a cobble notch driveway here which has tons of space for at least two or three cars. Um, this house has been immaculately kept. We have, um, we have two reception rooms, an extended kitchen, three bedrooms, converted attic, downstairs shower room and main bathroom. So let's go in and we'll take a look. So you're coming in a solid wood Munster joinery front door, weighs a ton, absolutely stunning, into a carpeted hallway. Um, if you swing around this way, you're going to see yourself in the mirror. We have a um, storage unit here in the hall and also your meters are just there. So carpeted hallway leading you down to the entrance into the first reception room. We'll show you the downstairs shower room after that actually. And you're coming in here and we'll ignore the Okay, so we have um, solid wood flooring, a beautiful fireplace, a really, really nice room, gorgeous windows. It has to be said, the light in this house, even though we're north facing, you'll see the light is incredible. Um, huge windows. And then this would have originally obviously been a wall where you would have had your second reception room. So this has been opened out. We have a proper stove, multi-fuel stove put in here with this beautiful fireplace as well, which is a matching fireplace. So a really nice room here as well. And then you can open up these double doors, which will take you into kitchen dining um, area with tiled flooring. So all of this here is this gorgeous dining area. This is the extension. We have a skylight up above to bring in more light. And this is the door to the back, which we'll take you out to in a second. I want to show you if you come through here. We have tons of storage in this kitchen. So we have a window at the sink there overlooking the back garden. Loads of wall and floor units. And it also comes in here to this area here. So originally this would have been the back of the house. So we have an extension here on the kitchen, an even bigger extension here providing a dining room and tiled floors. So these would have been quite small. So this is very cleverly extended. Also brilliantly done is the downstairs shower room. So I think this is dead handy having it. It's obviously wash hand basin, beautifully tiled and a shower room. And now we're going to head out into that garden because I want to show you the, um, this is a glass door leading into the kitchen. Um, we're coming into the garden before I show the garden, but also there's a garage which could be a separate apartment, it could be a gym, it could be a home office, it could be whatever you want. It is uh, plumbed and it has electricity. So here we have a um, very low maintenance garden because we have patio for most of it and then shrubbery around the side. The smell here is amazing, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and when you get down to the end, if you want to swing around, you can see the back of the house. So you, see, you can see how extended it is and the Vila Spare up in the attic as well. It's a very, very well looked after property. It really is. Um, so we're coming in here. And this is your garage. What would have originally been a garage but was converted by previous owners into a self-contained apartment with rear access that will bring us out into a back lane. As I said, that lane is locked from the top there. And you can see an old kitchenette kind of unit. So this is a multi 
purpose space. You can use it as a garage. <clears throat> you can use it as a gym. You can use it as a home office. You could use it as an apartment because we already have a downstairs shower room in here. It just needs to be, it needs to be fixed back up. It hasn't been used as a unit like that in a very long time. But what a superb space. So that concludes our downstairs accommodation. We're now going to go upstairs where we show you the three bedrooms, main bathroom and the attic converted. So we're coming up the carpeted stairs here. You can see the front door there behind me. And there's a little return with just three steps up onto the landing. So just to the right of the landing is a beautifully tiled bathroom. Again, these original fabulous doors I adore. Uh, we have a heated towel rail, uh, WC, wash down basin and a bath with a shower inside. Dual windows because these houses would originally have a separate toilet and, and a and bathroom. So you get, you get lots and lots of that light in there. And then stepping in off the landing, we have a lovely double bedroom here with loads of shelving, fitted wardrobes on the far side, really spacious room, carpet and floor, and overlooking that rear garden. You can kind of see the, set, the, the size of that uh, garage at the back from here with the size of the roof. It's a super, super space. Back out onto the landing and into the master. So master overlooking the front, a really, really spacious room. Again, a really nice big bright window and fitted wardrobes on either side. With loads of space there and overlooking Sea Park Drive. So the last of our three bedrooms on this level is currently used as a single, but could actually be a double bedroom, a small double would definitely fit in there. Again, you've carpeted flooring, a lovely bright window overlooking Sea Park Drive and fitted wardrobes as well. There is definitely enough space in there for a small double. So we're gonna head up to the attic conversion, which is a really, really great space. So not only do we have a really spacious and high ceiling to attic, we also have a landing area there with eave storage. So we have glazed glass coming into the bedroom here and a door. And then we have storage, storage. If you look at the size of this, it's a magnificent room. Currently laid out as a twin bedroom with a huge Velux window overlooking the treetops and I can see St Gabriel's Church from here. And that concludes the upstairs accommodation for 23 Sea Park Drive. -in. So just to summarise, I am in the back garden here of 23 Sea Park Drive. The sun is literally beating down here. It's, what time is it? It's about half ten in the morning. Um, so you can see how bright this beautiful garden is. So uh, to summarise, we have a three bed with an attic converted, ground floor extension, immaculate condition, uh, two bathrooms, downstairs shower room. There are so many great features about this house. The location is outstanding, on market for 675. Be your to follow, square footage to follow, currently being measured up. And for more information, go to kmproperty.ie.